Oh man, what's going on? This is your boy Big Raj coming to you with another video. Yes, I'm in the car right now, chilling out to some red skies. If you can hear it in the background. Another Baltimore Ravens classic coming up. We have the you know Ravens and the Steelers. This game don't mean a damn thing because the Ravens are number one at 13 and three, wrapped up the number one seed, feeling extremely, extremely, really really good right now which is awesome um can't wait to see what happens after this game hopefully uh Harbaugh takes it easy and doesn't you know have Lamar Jackson out there and uh, a couple of other starters uh get some rest as well because a lot of the team is banged up and um you know they just need some rest but um the real reason I'm making this video today is I have a question for you guys. Now, the past couple of days, you know, after we wrapped up the number one seed, thanks to the, whooping the Dolphins behind on Sunday, who would you like to face in a divisional round? Um, I just got, you know, I mean, in case you haven't listened to first take, you know what I'm saying? Let me run, let me run some of what they said, and then I'm gonna give my thoughts, you know, on what I think, you know, the Ravens. Who the Ravens should play and uh, who they shouldn't play. But just check this out real quick. Uh, uh, Shannon, we'll start with you. Which team is the biggest threat to the Ravens in the AFC? Because right now they look like world beaters. I think I might want to change my pick. Oh, uh, really? Okay. I had I had Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what Buffalo am I going to get? Because we know Josh Allen's a mistake prone. We know two are mistake prone. Okay. And those are the two teams that's by, you know, uh, one of them's going to win the division. Lamar Jackson in three losses has thrown three interceptions one touchdown pass. In his 13 wins, he's thrown four interceptions and 23 touchdown passes. Okay. The team that I think, mm -hmm. with the way they're playing currently, I'm going to shock you. Mm -hmm. The Cleveland Browns. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. The Cleveland Browns is the team I feel with the way Joe Flacco is playing right. and the way that defense can get after the opposing right. team's quarterback. Mm -hmm. Because the Ravens are first in takeaway, first in sack, first in points allowed. The Bills are second in takeaway, third in sacks allowed, fourth in points allowed. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, Josh Allen, he just tries to be Superman all the time. And sometimes it's okay to be Clark Kent. You can just have your glasses on, your nice top on, and your hat on uh, uh, Saturday, and just go about your day. Right. But he wants to jump into that phone booth and put that cape on mm -hmm. far too much and when he doesn't really need to. So right now, the way they've been playing over the last month, mm -hmm. I think the Cleveland Browns. Here's the deal, Shannon Shop. I mean, first of all, I want you. I don't want you to be <laughs> contaminated by the Jeff Saturday syndrome, okay? <laughs> you don't have to You don't have to fight it. All you have to do is say, I agree with my man Stephen A. Because that's exactly where I was going with you. I'm going to Cleveland Browns. I'm going to Cleveland Browns. And, and let me tell you something. It was exactly why. Because when you look at Josh Allen again, I think he's great. But we all know that he's prone to make errors because he might engage in hero ball, yeah. even though we have see much of that this year but that defense in cleveland and their ability not only to get after everybody the, but the effect they have directly on lamar jackson considering what we what level of greatness we've been seeing from lamar jackson and the baltimore ravens when i think about that roadblock that roadblock this is the only team that comes about i'm done with miami I'm done with Miami. I, I, I've had it with them. I, I've had it with them. I don't believe in them at all, okay? Buffalo, iffy. Cleveland, if Flacco throws the ball like that, oh, oh my God. And then you got Amari Cooper and Joe Cooper. And let's not forget Flacco. Who, how many people are as familiar with John Harbaugh? as Joe Flacco, who won the Super yeah. Bowl for the man. Yeah. That's where I'm going with as well, Shannon. It's Cleveland. But all right. We got that opinion from Shannon Sharp and Stephen A. Smith. You know what I'm saying? Cleveland Browns, you know, the hottest, you know, underdog football team right now with, you know, Joe Flacco, a former Baltimore Raven, you know, Super Bowl champion of 2012 season with the Baltimore Ravens. I mean, I get what they're saying. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see Cleveland. I've been saying that on the show if y'all been paying attention. I don't want to see them. I respect Joe Flacco. I love Joe Flacco. He was one of my favorite quarterbacks when he was, when he was with the Baltimore Ravens. And I love everything he did with the team. 
and everything like that. And I'm glad that he's getting, you know, another shot in the NFL, you know, especially being with the Jets the last two years and not being very good with them. He's, I, I mean, the brother can still throw the football. We all know this. He can throw the football deep. That's what he, that's what he's always done in his time in the NFL. But, and that, you know, that Cleveland defense, like they said, that Cleveland defense is great. I'm not even going to lie to you. That Cleveland defense is really, really good. But I just think the Ravens, man, I think, I mean, this probably be the, this, this will be the third time if we do see them, if they do make it to the divisional round against us, this will be the third time we see them this season. And we already lost to them when they came here before, uh, I think a couple months back when we, we played Deshaun Watson. Uh, his last game before he got hurt. Um, I, I just think we, I think we beat this team, man. I, I think that if they, you know, somehow show up to Baltimore, I think we beat them. I, I, I do. I mean, I'm not too afraid of Joe Flacco. Um, I, I know what he can do, especially if he has time, of course. But I just think that this team is too focused, too, uh, too, too, too focused too strong, um, too uh, motivated to, to, you know, just to lose to the Cleveland Browns at home. I, I just don't see it happening. Um, but the team that I that I really, really don't want to see, that they haven't said yet, is the Buffalo Bills. Um, I think Shannon said that was his first pick, but I don't want to see Buffalo, man. Um, Josh, we already know what Josh Allen can do. He's a top three quarterback. Has he been a top three quarterback this season per se? Not really, because he's made a lot of turnovers and they had a lot of injuries, you know, and they've been going through a lot of things, uh, him and uh, Stefan Diggs. And we already know Vaughn Miller has issues right now with um, things that don't, have, that don't have nothing to do with football. But, um, but yeah, man, I, I think Buffalo right now, they are on a four game winning streak. If they make the playoffs and we, they have to, you know, somehow come up here to play us in Baltimore. I think that would be more a more of a challenging game than the Cleveland Browns would be because we already know what the Cleveland Browns are about. We know how to play them. They know how to play us too. Um, but I just think Buffalo is pretty much a team that you know that's been in the playoffs these last three years, and they've you know they made a couple runs deep in the playoffs. So they're battle tested. They know what to do. And um, I, I think they would give us more of a, a headache than the Cleveland Browns. But, I mean, hey, I could be wrong. Who knows? Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp could be wrong as well. But please, let me know what you think in the comments. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to get this video out, you know, because I've been listening to the first take, as you can see. <laughs> the boy has been, you know, doing some things or whatever. But hopefully... Whoever the Ravens play, you know what I'm saying? Whoever they play, I just want them to do this. Finish him, Daddy. Yes, please. Just finish him. That's all I ask. Just finish him. That's all I want y'all to do is just finish him. So, I mean, it is what it is. This is your boy, Big Raj. You know, I'm going to be signing off soon. And, uh, Please, man, if you haven't, if y'all have not liked or subscribed to the Flex Zone podcast, please do subscribe to the channel, man. We're trying to grow the channel. You know what I'm saying? We're almost close to 2,000 subscribers. So please hit the like and subscribe button, man. And uh, we'll see what happens, though. Hopefully the Ravens, you know, get by this weekend. If they win, if they lose, I honestly don't care. Just stay healthy. Stay focused. I mean, this is this has been a really long time since we've been a number one seed and had a bye week, probably since 2019. So please be on your A game, stay focused, and everybody have a great day. So, and uh, this is your boy Big Raj, and I will be signing out right now. <laughs>